Hi, hello, and welcome to Mathway. In this video, you are going to learn about what are the parts of abacus and how to represent the numbers on the abacus. This is the teacher abacus, or it is also called as master abacus. It is student abacus. So both are same, but difference is in the size. This is a frame. It is a rectangular shape, so it is a rectangular frame. This outer frame is a rectangular frame. So here we can see one horizontal rod. This horizontal rod is called as answer line. So here we can see some dots. So we can we can consider this dot as a unit's place. So in the numbers, in the numbers, the number systems are the place values of the numbers are ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousands, like this, so on. So here we can consider the middle dot as a ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, in this way. Or else we can start from here also. We can consider ones, tens, hundreds, and so on. But whenever we are considering the ones place as the middle dot, so it is very easy to take the decimals also. The so ones place after we can take the decimal part. So the middle part it starts from ones place well. The middle dot is starts from ones place. And so here, these are called as vertical rods. The rods which are in the vertical, those are called vertical rods. If you see, there are some beads. So these yellow color, these are the beads. Two are two types are there. One is in the upper line, and one more in the down, the lower. The the beads which are upper side of the answer line is called as upper beads. The beads which are on the answer line, upper no. So it is upper beads. And the beads which are lower to the answer line, those are called as lower beads. So these are upper beads, these are lower beads. So these are the parts of the abacus. Same way, student abacus also consists the same parts. So rectangular frame. So this is the answer line. So the middle dot here we can take it as ones place. So these are the upper beads, and these are the lower beads. How to hold an abacus? So here you can see it is the teacher abacus. Simply hang out to the nail. So there is no change, no movement in the beads. If you take the student abacus, if you keep it in this way, so these upper beads will down fall. So it is uh, not possible to solve when it we are keeping like this. So whenever you are using the abacus, you should be keep the abacus on the table. Okay, you should keep it on the table and. So there is no bead in contact with the answer line. So here you can see there is no bead in contact with the answer line. Contact means in this way. So all upper beads are in the upside, and all the lower beads are downside. Right? Next, you should sit straight in the chair. Your spinal cord should be in the straight position. And so here we have to use two hands, both hands to hold the abacus. We should use only left hand. In the left hand, this thumb. Little finger and ring finger. So these three fingers only we have to use. So you have to hold in this way. So these two fingers should be not in contact with the abacus. So whenever you are doing any calculation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, we have to use only right hand. And also I will tell you which finger used for addition, which finger used for subtraction. Let us see how to represent the numbers on the abacus. So. The most important point is first, whenever you are doing any calculation, if you are showing any number on the abacus, there is no bead in touch with the answer line. So if there is no bead touch with the answer line, if in this way just we have to arrange it in this way. So so here in the answer line there is no bead in contact. So this number represents zero. If there is no bead touch with the answer line, the value is zero. Next. So we are considering the middle dot as a ones place. So ones place, the lower beads. This one bead consists only once. So it is one. So if the one bead is in touch with the answer line, that is one. If two beads are in touch with the answer line, that is two. It is three. It is four. Clear? Simply, how many beads are touch with the answer line? The lower beads. So it is one. This number is one. It is two. This is three, and this is four. Next to represent the five. 
so this all the upper beads are 5 10 50 500 in that way so to represent the 5 here we need to bring it down and this 5 should be touched with the answer line so this is 5 got it so how to represent 1 this is 1 2 3 4 and it is 5 as yes, how to show 6 already it is 5 6 7 8 9 okay then then how to show the 10 here so here all the ones place is filled with filled completed then for the tenth place we need to move to the next rod the pre, the preceding rod before rod so to show the ten make it as zero and it is tens ten so this is tens rod so one rod is one bead is connected with the answer line so it is ten it's twenty thirty forty then how to show the fifty bring it down it is a fifty 60, 70, 80 and 90. To show the 100, we need to move to the before rod. So it, these are the hundreds. Same way, thousands, ten thousands. In this way, this all the place where number system will go follows. So here, one second. I how to show the ones? So, so if the one beat in the ones place connected to the answer line, that value is 1. So it is 1. If two beads are connected to the answer line, that number is 2. If three beads are connected to the answer line, then that number is 3. If the four beads are connected with the answer line, the number is 4. Then, so here we, so we, I said this upper beads are 5. This is the value of 5. To make 5, make it as 0 and connect the 5 bead with the answer line. It is 5 6 5 and 1 5 plus 1 6 5 2 it is 7 8 9 so now it is once is filled so we have to move the next place value before the one it one once are filled so we have to go to the tens place it is 10 one tens rod one ten bit and one ones bit 10 1 11 it is 12, 13, 14, it's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Next, to make it as a 20, so ones are filled. Now take one tens rod. Two tens rods are connected with the answer line. So it is 20. Same way, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Now make it as a 30. So 3 tens are connected to the answer line. So it is 30. Same way 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. How to make it as 50? This 5 tens rod connected to the answer line. So make it as 0. Now it is 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So in this way we can take any number. So it is it is hundreds rod. So this is ones rod, tens, and it's hundred. So the number is hundred. Now can you guess what is this number? 120. 120. Now 123. Can you guess what is this number? So here in the hundreds place, three beads are connected to the answer line. So 100, 200, 300. So it is 300. Can you guess what is this number? 330. Next, 330. So 344. 300 beads, 4 10 beads and 4 1 beads. 344. Can you guess what is this number? So in the hundreds place, 5 is connected to the answer line. So it is 522. So this number is 522. Hope you understood how to represent the numbers on the abacus. 
keep trying it i'll give you some numbers try to show that on the abacus